Hi Colin, uh, you've joined us in the studio today uh, to tell us this unbelievable story about the way your local community is going to be invaded by literally somebody's whim uh, uh, about the environment and, and generating electricity for themselves but to the detriment of their local community. Do you want to just explain a bit about your community and, and, uh, and, and the type of setting that we'll, we'll be looking at here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Colin Smith. Uh, I've lived in Little Nesta in South Wales for the last 30 years. And uh, I picked Little Nesta because it's, it's so quiet, it's lovely. Semi-rural, um, lots of places to walk. Um, but you've got the shops and this, you know, you've got everything you need in there. And um, yesterday I got a, a letter through the door uh, from the local people saying they're going to put a massive windmill about as a crow flies a couple of hundred yards away from my house. I mean, and, and a big one, you know. Now, we didn't get the information from the council. What they did instead was put some local stickers around that somebody found. You know, and, I, and I believe what you're supposed to do is um, write to all the local community and let them know you're going to do this, but they didn't do it. So, Right. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, windmills. Uh, we're talking about windmills that you see out on the on the uh, estuary here. That size windmill. It, and it seems so. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I, I I haven't got my notes of the size of it. When I read it yesterday, I thought that is one big windmill. Now I can't give you the size of it, but I know I, when I've I've actually seen is if you go to New Brighton, for instance, um, you know you can see these windmills on the horizon. When you get next to them. They're absolutely huge. Now, if you put one of those inside of a rural community, you know, by houses, I mean, they are really, really big. Yeah. And, and it's a fair amount, amount of noise, aren't they? they, they, yeah. they I mean, it's a constant drone that, that right, is issued yeah. from these. And, 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 and they're talking about literally placing this in, in next to houses, That's next, right. next to the centre? Um, it's from my house, as I say, from the, uh, as the crow flies, it's a couple hundred yards. Dear me. And it's surrounded. I mean, they're going to put it in, a, I guess, in a big field, but surrounding that is all the, the local residents' houses. And, I mean, I've listened to these, and it's not a loud noise, it's a, it's a constant whirring noise that is going to go on all in the middle of the night. Uh, have you spoken to, to the people who, who are talking about doing this? No, actually, as I say, I got the information yesterday, and the idea of trying to make this video, I thought, well, Okay, we've got the paperwork, but maybe if I make a video, we can get it out and make it uh, quicker. Because if we don't get this sorted by, I think it's the twenty fourth of, of this month, uh, then they're going to do it. You know. So that's a tight deadline for yeah. you to for you to get people mobilised really yeah. together. And what 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 are your next steps then? Well, if we get this uh, video done, and maybe um, I could put it on YouTube or you know, yeah. some local area, and then give the the links to everybody, pass it around, let them have a look at it, just make them aware. Maybe you know, sometimes people get this information, they need, they don't really think about it and think it's not that bad, but when they realise what's actually going up, you know, I think they're going to be astonished, you know. And I'd like to just show them what this uh, potential hazard is going to be like in, in this short video. Yeah. I mean, this is you speaking out, but have you spoken to other people in the community? Well, and, and I literally got the letter yesterday, right. and, and I thought, I better, I better get myself moving and uh, right. help this thing along, because we're going to be in trouble otherwise. Okay, best of luck, and, and hopefully you'll get some resolution uh, as to the problem affecting your, what is a, a very beautiful community. Thank, Thank you, you very much.